Cases where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell.
but I began to see that I was being kind of set up like and maybe, um, you know, um, Abdullah and Joker. And it became, it became clear to me, especially when I got back here and received a certain call, that I was, uh, the whole thing was being set up and I was being ambushed um, to, you know, by the Raelians, possibly. By the Raelians? Uh, we're talking about Real? Yeah. Yeah, possibly with his full knowledge, but most certainly by the uh, Indianapolis um, Raelian uh, society, working right. through um, infiltrators and subverters for the sole purpose of, um, one, trying to discredit uh, Abdullah Hashem and Joseph McGowan because they did a, a breaking, to me, it was just a breaking news documentary on the uh, Rael and the Raleigh. And um, that pointed to it being a sex cult in the name of Yahweh. Now, at first, when they began to tell me, this, I didn't understand what was going on, but like, I can tell you this, I never regret going to Indianapolis. I am so thankful for going to Indianapolis. And uh, because as time went on, I did receive deep uh, information uh, that I was told I would receive. And because of this, uh, uh, that I was told I would receive. And because of this, uh, if, it, if it is true, and I, I don't see no reason why Abdullah and uh, Joseph would not have Mm-hmm. So when you look at the documentary, they did a history that, uh, you know, um, it's true. It's just, it, it looks so true. And if this, is, if this is the case, there is a major crime or sin being committed against the only one I serve, Yahweh. And so uh, in the, at the end of the documentary, it says that uh, they must stop. Uh, uh, well, it was a statement of Rahel in November 2006. That, at least that's what the um, documentary said. But by Rahel, Rahel declared to his inter- entire international, international movement and his bishops and leaders and everything that Abdullah Hashem, um, what he was doing was could destroy that movement and he must be stopped at all costs. And then when the word reached out, when I saw that, I said, whoa. And then I looked at the documentary, I said, now that could cause a lot of controversy right here against Rael because this, wow, it was just deep. And so I said, um, I wanted to work with um, Abdullah. I told him I'll come up for the month of December. And um, I found a contract with December that's behind those. And if it works between us, uh, that, you know, I would definitely consider, you know, him following me on the state tour. You know, we, we talk, we explore, we uh, talk about ideas, but we, you know, I'm, it, we both understood that nothing was verbally binding until we got it on paper. Right. It's fine, so, but the thing about it is that um, because of what I have found out from a foolish heart, um, I'm declaring spiritual warfare against Rahel and, the, and, the, and, and uh, the, the raisins. This whole movie. Everybody, spiritual warfare. Now, I ain't talking about harming anybody. Physically. To reveal their lives in the fight against them, because they're using Yahweh's name to do these dastardly deeds and these things and crimes in His name. Now, let me say this. Um, like I said, I was skeptical at first. As time went on, I began to realize that when the Rawlians found out that Abdullah was uh, willing to work with me to uh, document if uh, UFOs appear on my signal or not. They, it, it became clear to me that they decided to step up their attack. They realized they had to stop Abdullah right then before anything could uh, happen, before I am documented again calling down the sighting. And they really sabotaged my summoning effort. Who, who did who sabotage you, Prophet? I know the exact person that did it, and I, 